currency was painted in 2008, we were interested in different ways of depicting water, maps of water, which are, what, abstractions that give us a reference to something we know or we think we know. So that particular painting is uh, the map of the Gulf of Mexico. Often you can use an icon to represent something, and so this is an icon to represent the Gulf. The horizontal and vertical lines are the latitude and longitude. It's a painting that is saying basically how dynamic the Gulf of Mexico is and how it influences the rest of the world. As far as global warming goes or, or rising water goes, it all starts at the Gulf of Mexico. So it's, it's a, an engine that drives the climate of mostly northern Europe and along the eastern coast. The four inserts were added fairly recently. Top corner is the ice cube tray and then the, the bottom corner are the, the mangroves. And so these are the mitigators. During the oil spill, there was a big fear that once the oil was in the Gulf Stream, it would have gone all the way up and then would have impacted the east coast of the U.S. and maybe beyond. We like to think about our body of work as a sort of jigsaw puzzle, a picture puzzle. You know, you do this little part, so this is about trees, but then up here is a whale or a tarpon, and this edge piece over here is an ice cube tray. It's very much like the issue of climate change, and we're discovering that this piece matters and this piece matters. Here are the reasons why certain things are happening. Here are things we can do. We're paying attention to this stuff and we're depicting it and we're presenting it. It's got to ask questions. The questions in, in some respect are greater than the answers that we have because the answers sometimes are stop and the questions are go.